So if I can make my cake by myself at home without an oven, I'm well here for it. channel the best channel in the world welcome back to where faith is fast and over here with me i have in best baker all the way from lagos guys and i'm just going to give her to introduce herself to you guys hey people what's up what's up what's up it's your girl yvette baker today we're gonna be making a super duper yummy moist chocolate cake with most minimal ingredients and guess what without an oven in the shortest possible time <laughs> oh my guys did you hear that without an oven first of all i am a cake lover people who know me on this youtube channel that i'm a foodie so if i can make my cake by myself at home without an oven i'm, I'm here for it and do you guys know that this cake she's going to be teaching us today is vegan friendly and also yeah. need that we we're making it under 15 minutes um, yeah. if i were you i would take my bio and paper and get ready to jot things down because this video is about to blow your mind so all you need to do is subscribe like comment share tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to subscribe to Effect. Okay, guys, with that said, let's just jump straight into today's video yeah. and let's get what? Let's get baking! <laughs> okay, guys, it is time for us to get into this. As you can see, we're putting on our aprons and now putting hair net, you know, to just cover our hair because we really don't want any kind of hair inside that kick now we have hand gloves on you know so that we can get that extra protection and sanitation as you can see we decided to use what we had at home so we just measured all the ingredients into this red cup and yes <laughs> so guys this is basically our oven for today guys we are going to be using pots to be baking this cake okay guys so right now we're trying to create a base for that cake pan so i'm using this aluminium um pan to you know try and create that base but as you can see the pot did not cover and we need that pot to cover so it can bake we carry this a uh, moe moe aluminium plate and then we put it on that because it's smaller and as you can see it actually covered and that's what we're trying to achieve so right now we're putting granite oil all around that cake pan because you do not want that your cake to stick when you are finished making it or baking it rather so now I'm just trying as much as you can to put that granite oil all around it so these are the most important so we have our spoons measuring spoon one tablespoon half tablespoon one teaspoon half teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon then we also have the one cup one cup half cup and um one quarter cup one third cup one quarter one over eight 
okay guys so right now we have one and a half cups of flour yeah i think we're still turning the flour inside and then we have three quarter cups of sugar into this we have three tablespoons of cocoa alkaline cocoa into our mix so right now we're just trying to do all the dry mix first and then we have our baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda so this is the dry mix so we're just trying to mix it all in until everything has mixed in and it's just one color like it's just the cocoa color as you can see we've not put all the wet ingredients and one thing Eva Baker did was that she made four parts now we have three tablespoons of granite oil in one of the parts we have one teaspoon of vinegar and then we have one cup of water yes yeah, so so we're adding one teaspoon of butter scotch flavor you can use any flavor you like but she specifically said do not use chocolate flavor for a chocolate cake so right now we're mixing everything together and with chocolate cakes you're not supposed to mix it too much as she said chocolate cake can actually take a lot of things so you just mix it well enough to get all the dry ingredients mixed with the wet ingredients and boom you're good to go <laughs> now she went ahead to heat that pan so that all the bubbles can escape and straight we took it to our pot as you can see we have that base that moe moe plate there and then we just carefully placed it on top and then covered it and left it to just bake now please take note guys that your heat has to be on low so that it can bake and get into everywhere do not allow your heat to be high you or else your cake will burn now this was after 30 minutes i was so excited that i just kept coming to check our cake i was like gosh isn't it ready after 45 minutes this was my cake and as you can see it's looking as if it's ready but no our baker said we should dip a spoon or anything that you like in the middle to see if that cake has properly baked so when we actually did dip this spoon inside um, when we brought it out it was exactly the way we mixed it so she said we should leave it again for another 30 to or 20 minutes until our cake actually gets baked so now this is it after 30 minutes we checked the cake again and as you can see our cake was completely baked and voila guys here is our yummy yummy chocolate cake my oh my am i already salivating because jesus i love chocolate cake so much yo hey guys look at how perfect this our chocolate cake came out can you can you see that steam oh my. <laughs> this our cake was looking so delicious and i was just surprised how we could achieve such a perfect perfect cake without even adding eggs or milk little ingredients but yet our cake came out so well and i cannot believe i used a pot to actually bake this perfection so guys are you going to try this at home
gosh guys our cake was so so yummy and i decided to taste it on your behalf can you see how i am so so happy anyway guys that'll be all for today i love you guys so much do not forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys